Hello everyone and welcome back to Bethy's Bible Bites. I'm so glad you're here. Today we are going to be talking about Easter Sunday, the resurrection. This is the story we've been waiting for, the moment that changed everything. So let's read it from Matthew 28 verses 1 through 10 together from the New Living Translation. Early on Sunday morning, as the new day was dawning, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went out to visit the tomb. Suddenly, there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord came down from heaven, rolled aside the stone and sat on it. His face shone like lightning, and his clothing was as white as snow. The guards shook with fear when they saw him and they fell into a dead faint. Then the angel spoke to the women. Don't be afraid, he said. I know you're looking for Jesus who was crucified. He isn't here. He is risen from the dead just as he said would happen. Come, see where his body was laying. And now, go quickly and tell his disciples that he has risen from the dead and he is going ahead of you to Galilee. You will see him there. Remember that I, told, I have told you. The women ran quickly from the tomb. They were very frightened, but also filled with great joy. And they rushed to give the disciples the angel's message. And as they went, Jesus met them and greeted them and they ran to him and grasped his feet and worshiped him. Then Jesus said to them, don't be afraid. Go tell my brothers to leave for Galilee and I will see them there. Can you just imagine their excitement? Whew, it gives me goosebumps. These ladies had gone to take care of Jesus's dead body and to cry and be sad together. But instead, the stone was rolled away. The tomb was empty. Jesus was not there because he was alive. There was an angel shining as bright as lightning. The earth shook. And the guards, who were tough and strong, they were so scared, they fainted dead away. Then the angels told them the best news that had ever been delivered in the history of the world. Jesus is not dead. He is alive. He was going to meet all of his disciples in Galilee. So the ladies started to run. They were going to tell everyone. And then the best thing happened. They actually saw Jesus and they were able to touch his feet and worship him. This is just amazing. And this is why we celebrate Easter. It's not about eggs or chocolate or bunnies. It's not about candy or food or fun or family or anything else that you might do fun on Easter. It's about much, much more important and much more special thing. Jesus is alive. He's not dead anymore. He conquered sin and death. His plan worked absolutely perfectly and now He's alive. So today, we have some activities to help us to remember that the tomb is empty. Jesus is alive. The first one is a yummy treat. It's called a resurrection biscuit. So with your parents or teacher's help, we're going to preheat an oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Make sure you get an adult's help for that. <clears throat> so, to prepare this concoction, we are going to start with two absolutely delicious ingredients. Cinnamon and sugar. Put them in a bowl together and we'll just mix them right up. And once you've got that all mixed, we're gonna pop these bad boys open. Woo! <laughs> Take one biscuit dough and squish it out as flat as you can so that it'll make a nice round thing. To squish this down a little flatter 
I'm gonna use some wax paper and my rolling pin. And we'll just roll it out a little bit. Make it nice and big and flat. Now, you take a marshmallow and dip it in some lovely melted butter so that it's all coated with butter. And then you take it and put it right into your cinnamon sugar mix so that it's all covered. And then you eat it. Not yet. But then you put it right on the edge of your biscuit dough. And we're gonna start to very carefully roll this up. All of the biscuit is gonna cover the marshmallow on the bottom. Like that. And you really wanna make sure it's all pinched together, otherwise the marshmallow will leak out all over the place. So, it's all pinched together. And we'll just kind of roll it around and make sure it's nice and round. And then we're gonna take a piece of parchment paper on our baking sheet and put it with the seam side down. Okay, so now we have our lovely resurrection biscuits all ready to go in the oven. And all we have to do left is take our leftover melted butter and spread a little of it on top of our biscuits. And last, we'll take a little bit of cinnamon sugar and sprinkle them on the tops. All right, and now they're ready for the oven. Whew, they look great, don't they? But remember to tuck those seams tight underneath because I had a little bit of marshmallow leakage. We cooked them for about 12 minutes and now they're going to be ready to cut in about five minutes after they cool. Okay, are you ready? Let's see what happened on the inside. And remember, this is all about Jesus' empty tomb. He's alive! <clears throat> How about this one? <gasps> the tomb is empty! The marshmallow disappeared, leaving us a perfect empty tomb and a very tasty treat. Another idea is to let your kids play in the dirt and make this wonderful empty tomb. And you can either do this in a shallow bowl like this or even in your yard. And all you need is a small pot or small container and a round stone that can cover. That's it. Just that and dirt. Then you can set it in the ground, cover it up with dirt, maybe build a little hill on top. Maybe if you want, you can gather up some rocks. And there you have it, an empty tomb. You can also make some crosses like this if you'd like to decorate it a little bit. All you need for this is a couple of sticks, one dot of hot glue, so have parents help, and a tiny bit of twine to just make those crosses and then stick them right in the soil. And then my kids and I also sprinkled a little bit of grass seed all over ours so that we can watch it grow over the next several weeks. And this has been just about the best decoration and slash toy on our dining room table ever. My kids love looking at it and playing with it. And one last idea, if you'd like, you can just get some Play-Doh and have your kids make an empty tomb. And make sure that whatever your activity is, you're talking to them about the importance of this amazing historical event. Ask them questions and, that are provided in the description below this video. <laughs> Can't get it out. <clears throat> Remember, Jesus is alive! 
This is the best news you will ever hear. So let's truly take time to remember and to make a big deal out of this amazing day. Celebrate! Thank you so much for watching today. I love you all so much and I hope to see you here next time. Bye! Hey parents and educators! If you would like more Holy Week lessons for kids, check out our full Holy Week playlist to prepare our hearts for Easter. Also, check the description below this video for more tools on how to teach this lesson to your kids or class. We continue to pray that this ministry will bless many children's ministry servants, parents, and kids. If you would like to encourage us today, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for more lessons like this from God's Word. God bless you!